So you may be fighting electrical gremlins in your car. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you some steps that you could possibly take to rectify those uh, problems. And it's not gonna cost you a lot of money. And all it's gonna take is a little bit of contact cleaner. So come with me and we'll, we'll go over that. So on today's vehicles, uh, a big problem is voltage drop. So voltage drop it occurs when there's corrosion or gunk or grease or grime or something built up on electrical connectors. And it doesn't allow the proper amount of voltage to go through. So that can happen on anything from sensors on your engine to your uh, lights on your car. So before we jump into cleaning electrical contact and showing you how that works, I wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by Gunk. So Gunk supplied us with the contact cleaner and uh, they're helping us out with this video. So we're going to be using their electrical contact cleaner to clean electrical contacts uh, throughout this video. So I'd like to thank Gunk for sponsoring it. And if you're fighting a problem like this, you may consider using some Gunk. I'll leave links for it down in the description of the video. All right, so once you know what electrical circuit you want to work on, it, so if it's a check engine light, so you pull a code and it's giving you a, a, an area where to go, like a mass airflow sensor or something like that, and you want to check the connector on it and clean the connector to see if that will help fix it. Uh, before you do that, you, the first thing I would recommend you do after you know figuring out which circuit you're trying to fix, uh, I would recommend disconnecting the battery cables. So if you're... If there's no electricity flowing through it, it's impossible to short it out. So if you disconnect your battery cables, you'll rule out any electrical uh, potential problems. All right, so now that we got the, uh, you know, the battery disconnected, the next thing you're, you're going to need to do is uh, unplug the connector that you want to work on. So I'm using the gunk uh, contact cleaner here. This stuff works great. It doesn't uh, harm plastic and it uh, evaporates really fast. So once you find a circuit that you want to clean, so right here, I'm, this is a, uh, the pressure sensor for the uh, AC system. So it's very common for oils and stuff like that from leaking cars to get on the connectors. So now you just, I, I like to use a straw and basically you just spray it on there and that'll help get rid of all that grease and grime, especially if there's oil leaks and stuff like that on there. Um, let it dry out. You can use compressed air and dry it out as well. And then once it's dried out thoroughly, then you just plug it back in. So I'm cleaning both sides of the connector here. So you can plug it back in and then with any luck, that was the problem with your electrical com uh, component and that actually helped the voltage uh, go through and you won't have that voltage drop anymore. Right, so a really common electrical gremlin is a trailer hitch wiring. So this right here sometimes gets submerged underwater when you're loading the dock, uh, boat in the dock or something like that. So you can get a lot of corrosion in here. You can see a little bit of green corrosion. All right, so we got the battery disconnected. Uh, so you can see the terminal is definitely green and corroded in there. We're going to use the uh, on here right now. So we're going to clean up this contact and that would probably dramatically uh, reduce voltage drop. So that would have dim lights on your trailer or non-working lights at all. So we're going to use the contact cleaner to clean that up. The contact cleaner, spray it on there. Not getting any grease and grime off of it. So not getting grease and grime off it. Now you can take your wire brush like this and you can clean off these terminals. Um, if this was plugged in and you were to, to use a wire brush like this, you could short something out and pop some fuses or cause any uh, other problems. So wire brushes like this what, are, are great for getting connections clean, especially like trailer hitches and stuff like that. So just give it a good clean. Like I said, the contact cleaner will not harm the plastics, so you don't have to worry about that. And you get in here and you clean your contacts. And now you're gonna make really good contact. And providing there's no additional electrical problems in the system, this is dramatically gonna improve your uh, connection that your lights on your trailer hitches. You're definitely going to want to do the both the male and female side so this this actually doesn't look too bad but we're just going to give it a little clean as well get these nice and clean and now we know that our connectors are clean and ready to be used using contact cleaner is a big tip and trick that a mechanics do so without special tools it can be hard to diagnose things so something simple as a voltage drop and a contact cleaner could really fix a lot of electrical problems on your vehicle all the time they they clean terminals and stuff they make sure that there's no voltage drops 
All right, since I'm chasing down electrical glimmerings, I noticed that the battery terminals themselves are, are pretty corroded. You can also use contact cleaner to clean battery terminals. So just give it a spray down and now you can clean off the terminals. Any voltage drops as well. So uh, voltage is key. If you're having any voltage issue, you wanna start with the battery. It has to be good and good condition. So it includes the cables and being clean. So now we're gonna put this back on and we'll tighten the cables back up. So you always put the uh, positive on first, negative on less. All right, so if you ever find yourself hunting down an electrical gremlin, I recommend you check out Gunk Contact Cleaner and try that out. You know, you never know, you just may fix your car or truck. I'm Brian Nessa from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and encourage you to subscribe. And remember the links for the Gunk will be down in the description of the content.